Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about the Preston family of products. By using these remarkably simple components, a number of time-consuming steps in drywall installation and repair can be eliminated. Whether you're a homeowner looking to fix a hole in your drywall or a builder working from the ground up, I'll show you how the Preston products will work for your job. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how the Preston products are your key to quicker, easier, and more cost-effective drywall installation and repair. Come on, I'll show you. Using just the Preston Instabac and drywall screws, you can create a joint between studs that is as strong as any sheet of wallboard. The innovative design allows the Instabac to be used in a variety of situations, from hole repair to ceiling installation. For new construction or remodeling, the Instabac allows you to back block or hard fasten wallboard four foot edge to four foot edge, which eliminates ugly ridges and crowns. It also provides a safer, faster way to install ceilings by allowing you to hook sheets together with Instabacs instead of needing tools or people to hold sheets in place. Now, unfortunately, we all know that even in new construction, holes can happen after the drywall has been installed. Instabac gives you an easy way to quickly repair holes without cutting back to the stud. First, measure the hole and cut a piece of drywall at least one half inch larger than the hole's dimensions. Then cut a square the same size as the drywall patch around the damaged area, removing any excess material. Next, place Instabac clips on all four sides of the hole and screw through the wall into the clips approximately three quarters of an inch from the edge. Drive screws into the replacement drywall opposite the existing screws, approximately three quarters of an inch from the seam. Then break off the Instabac tabs by wiggling them back and forth. Finish as you would any drywall seam for a repair that is as strong as the original wallboard. You can get this same great look whether you're repairing holes from plumbing or electrical access, joining two pieces of wallboard off the stud, or installing a ceiling. The Preston Instabac can do it all, easily, quickly, and cheaper than other methods. Now I'd like to tell you about the two other products in the Preston line, the Cornerback and the Framerback. These products will eliminate non-structural backup framing members at corners and ceilings and are essential to new wallboard installation. In this demonstration, we'll show you how using the corner back and framer back will reduce your installation costs by requiring fewer materials and less manpower. These products will also provide a cost savings to the owners due to better insulated corners. In the new construction of an average size home, that can amount to 10 to 13 percent reduction in the amount of lumber you'll use. The corner back is pressed onto the drywall and hard fastened after the framing has been completed. The corner back is then used to hard fasten the wallboard to the studs. The framer back provides the same functionality as the corner back, but is installed during the framing. The wallboard hard fastens to the framer back already in place on the stud. We'll show you both methods of installation, then you can decide which one is right for your job. Let's start with the corner back. First, press the corner back clips into place on the end of the drywall. On a typical piece of four foot drywall, you'll use three clips. Start an inch from the taper and space the clips about 16 inches apart. Then slide the drywall into place with the tab against the stud. Place one screw or nail in each tab. The abutting drywall sheet conceals the clips and is screwed into the stud every eight inches. This method eliminates the need for extra backing studs and allows you to insulate more efficiently. Additionally, it eliminates extra drilling for electricians and plumbers. Quick, easy, and cost-effective. An equally efficient method is to use the Preston Framer Back hard fastened directly to the studs. It isn't that different from the corner back installation, but let's take a closer look. Hard fasten the Framer Back to the stud by placing a screw through the perforations about three quarters of an inch from the 90 degree angle of the framer back. Space the framer back so that they are 16 inches apart. Use the protruding side to attach the wallboard. The corner back and framer back also work great for combating roof truss uplift, or CPS, ceiling partition separation. Hard fasten the corner back to the interior partition top plates. 
perpendicular to the ceiling truss. Maintain an 18 to 24 inch interval between the pressed on fastener and the first row of screws attaching the ceiling sheet to the truss bottom. If the truss lifts, the corner seam will not separate because the drywall and clips will flex. Whether you choose to go with a framer back before applying the wallboard or with a corner back during wallboard installation, either method can create a great looking corner with minimal materials and manpower. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about Preston drywall fasteners. Preston products make wall, corner, and ceiling installations and repairs easier, faster, and safer. Currently, they're also the only backup fasteners fire and shear rated under International Building Code for use in residential, steel stud applications, and multiple family constructions. To find out more, please visit us at Preston.com.